Hi, it's Lauren Lockman from the Tanglewood Wellness Center. I had a question about cal caloric consumption. Now, the question was from a, a young woman who said that she was eating about 2,000 calories a day or a little bit more, but really felt like it was too much for her. She continued doing that, though, because if she ate less than that, she began to have cravings for all kinds of things she didn't want to eat. So essentially, in her own words, she was overeating to eliminate cravings. And I decided to talk about this because it's actually something I've been saying for years, that is that the people who are out there promoting overeating, uh, and, and you know, just a quick recap, some of you haven't heard me say this, but think about this. There are people out there who tell you that in order to get enough calories, you have to put a bunch of stuff like bananas and dates in a blender and add water and mix it up so you could drink it to get enough calories in. And you know, it makes me think, man, you know, if, if, if there's a God, he or she surely messed up. Because every other species on the planet can simply eat their natural diet and get all the calories they need. We need a wearing blender in order to do it, right? Our systems are somehow so messed up we can't eat enough food. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, of course we don't need to do that in order to get the food we need. So, I've always said, I believe people who are doing this and promoting this are attempting to suppress detoxification, either physically or emotionally. There's either stuff coming up physically they don't want to feel, or there's stuff coming up emotionally they don't want to feel. One way or the other, they're suppressing it. And I've talked about this a little bit before. But... I was, I was responding to her question. She said to me, you know, so what should I do? Should, if, I, if I don't overeat like that, I'm, I'm going to be detoxing. But if I do, I feel like I'm eating too much. And, you know, I said to her, well, here's the thing. What you want to get really clear about is that overeating is not only suppressing the symptoms that you're feeling, but what that means is it's preventing your body from detoxifying, right? Because we're taking in more food, the body's working harder to process this food, there's nothing harder for the body, more, more energy consuming than processing food. What happens is there isn't enough energy available to cleanse and heal the body. So what does that mean? Well, if your goal is to function at the highest level you can, suppressing your body's ability to cleanse and detoxify and heal itself that's not a very good strategy. That's a short-term strategy to feel okay now, but it, it means you're never going to accomplish what's possible. If you want to function and feel as well as possible, you have to give your body a chance to cleanse and heal. Okay? And notwithstanding the fact that there are people out there who say, the body doesn't need to cleanse and heal, how, you know, how toxic can it be? You guys who've just been through the process for, for five, six weeks know differently, right? Um, there's a lot to cleanse and heal in most people. We see it every single time somebody comes in here. That's thousands of times over the last 18 years. Um, you know, it's, it's silly to say otherwise. It's only said otherwise by people who haven't been through the experience. So if we're overeating, we're suppressing that. Now, what I said to her was, look, you've got a couple options. You can, understanding this, you can try to eat the appropriate amount of calories for your body, which means eat when you're hungry and stop when you're satisfied. If you feel like you're, you're detoxing more than you can handle it, emotionally or physically, you can always eat a little bit more. Slow that down. Okay? You can also do more activity. Anything that's using more energy, right? We'll slow that down. But ultimately, you don't want to consistently prevent it from happening if your goal is to function at the highest level you can, because if you do that, you can never achieve your goal. So you could slowly, over the course of 10 or 15 years perhaps, allow your body to cleanse and heal completely by making the best choices and not overeating. Or you could fast for three or four or five weeks and get literally 10 or 12 years worth of cleansing done in the course of about a month or a month and a half, and then it's not an issue anymore. Then you don't need to overeat because there isn't anything to suppress. You've already allowed the body to cleanse Hopefully, both physically and emotionally. Okay, the emotional piece is harder for a lot of people. Not everyone does that work when they can because it's difficult for people to face. But if you're willing to, you guys that are here have a tremendous opportunity to do that right now. So, I'd strongly encourage it.
and it's a lot easier here now than it's going to be back in life, where it's much easier to, to continue to find distractions and suppress in other ways. And again, you know, with the, the emotional as well as with the physical, if you don't allow for that process to occur, if you're not willing to completely experience those emotions and deal with, with the underlying issues and get beyond them, you're never going to manifest everything you're capable of. Because the, the emotional has just as much of an impact on us, if not more, than the physical. Okay? I mean, we see this all the time. We've seen some really powerful examples of this one just recently, where there was something going on physically because of the emotions. That's what's happening for most people. There are many who would say every physical disease has an emotional cause, an emotional root. Okay, there's always something going on emotionally. If we were all completely emotionally balanced, we wouldn't be out there making less than optimal choices. We'd be making the best choices to take care of ourselves. That's what we do when we love ourselves completely. Anyone done that their entire life? I certainly haven't. Okay, but it's something we can, we can shift towards doing now if we're willing to take it on. It's not easy. It's challenging. It's the hardest thing. It's the hardest part of this process, that's for sure. Now, the physical stuff, I mean, some of you have been through some really challenging physical stuff, but, but most of us have been through challenging physical stuff before. Most of us have never really done the emotional work before. Not like you can while you're fasting. So, just a reminder, um, overeating is not just, you know, it, it sounds, because it sounds great, well, eat more so you don't have to, um, you know, you don't have these cravings. Okay, that sounds like a great strategy for staying raw. But is the objective to be all raw? Is that the objective? I hope not. Being all raw isn't your goal, I hope. It's a tool. The goal is to feel and function as well as you can, isn't it? That's what you're in for, I know. Is That's what you're in for too, you told me. I think you've said the same thing. I think we're all in for the same thing. If that's the goal, you want to understand that the, the specific diet... That's just a vehicle to get you there, okay? You can be eating the optimal diet, but eating too much of it, and not accomplish the much more important overarching goal of maximum health and performance. So let's, let's, stay fo let's keep our eye on the right ball, right? Let's stay focused on the goal that we really want to achieve, which is the, the health and the vitality and the mental clarity and the emotional and spiritual growth and, and understand that the diet is a tool to get us there. We want to optimize the diet, but we, you know, it's, some people say, well, I'm all raw, while they're eating 18,000 calories a day, right? Yeah, well, you're not going to cleanse and heal much, you know, if you're dramatically overeating. Or over, you're eating, you know, living on processed raw foods, right? Low water content, dehydrated juices and, and all this stuff. The best we can do is to make it as natural as possible and to listen to our bodies and not overeat and then deal with what comes up. Because if we deal with what comes up, we don't have to keep dealing with it, right? We get it done and then we're done with it. So, hope that helps. Yeah. That's one part of me that says, like, when, when for example, my friends yep. have gone back to Sweden. Uh -huh. They have been living with me in Bali, right. eating all raw, doing a really good job. Right. Then they go back, there's a lot of emotions, right. family history and everything. Right. And now I see raw to the fore. Right. It's for me, like, like, it, like you don't... You don't deal with the emotional part, you don't deal with the fact that you don't even want to live there. Right. Like, do you understand what I mean? I do. I, I think and what you're saying is that your friends who've gone back to Sweden wind up making poorer choices, yeah. including cook food every evening, as a way to suppress their emotions. Yeah. Right? I think that's what's happening all over the place. And as I've said before, you know, many of the people who find they, they overate for years on raw food, attempting to suppress physical and emotional detox, failed eventually to do that. When that was no longer enough, yeah, overeating, then they started consuming cooked food again. So, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's a... I don't, I don't think anybody can seriously argue that cooked food is just as good or actually okay. We know it's toxic to the body. We know there's an immune response every time you eat it. 
we know it has negative detrimental impact. And anybody who's ever had a clean enough system that eats cooked food feels the negative impact almost immediately. So if the goal, again, is to, is to move yourself to your highest level of health and vitality, to become the best version of yourself possible, I don't think it's reasonable to include cooked food in your diet. I mean, I, I, not reasonable. I don't think it's going to be effective. Let's talk about that. Let's simply talk about what works. If you're actually committed to creating that outcome of creating the best version of you possible, each of you, I, I don't think cooked food is going to have a place in your diet because of that negative impact. You know, if you're willing to justify it rather than deal with certain things, okay, that's fine. But, you know, get clear, you're sacrificing something. And if it's not that important to you, that's okay. But for those of us sitting here saying, no, it is important. Like the most important thing is that I maximize my health and performance and vitality and mental clarity. In that case, well, stop making excuses. You know, understand it's just an excuse. It's not going to be a... There's always so much excuse. There's always lots of excuses. There's a, there's a quote, I don't remember now, someone said something like, uh, you, can, you can make progress or you can make excuses. But you can't do both. You know, it's one or the other. 